Hey guys, I am here with Danielle again and we are kind of working on our next shopping trip. So I just kind of wanted to give you the behind the scenes on how we were getting ready. And she is kind of out of just about everything. All those meals that we had planned out for her, they've eaten those and they've done a great job doing very, very minimal shopping. So now we're ready to do a big shopping trip and get them set for the next two weeks. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start by making our meal plan. These sheets are from Money Saving Mom. I've also got some for you. But um, these are great for getting organized. Make sure you write out a meal plan for what you're going to want to eat. Then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a shopping list. I've been working on some coupons here. If you can see all these down here, I've got some Target coupons. I've got some printable coupons. These are things that I found in the coupon database. These are things from the weekly ads that we are going to use as we build her uh, shopping list for this week and then we're going to go do a little shopping and see what we can come up with, okay? Okay, we got our list done and we are heading out to go shopping. Let's see, we have our coupons that we're planning on using that we pulled, already pulled. We got those out of the database or from looking at the store matchups. We've got our shopping list by store so we know what we're getting and then we have our meal plan so that we buy exactly what we need and we don't buy anything else. So we're going to head out and we'll catch you at the first store. Okay, we just finished our grocery shopping at the first store. And this is the store really, it's a little more expensive. Let's see, we've got the potatoes we did find on sale. We got a whole bag for $2.50. So we're actually going to use this in three meals. We are going to use these to make homemade french fries. And we're going to use them as baked potatoes. And then we're also going to use them for mashed potatoes. So with that one bag of potatoes, we've already planned three meals around that. And that was on our shopping list and in our menu plan. So that was a good find. Let's see. We did find a um, bag salad. These are small bags, but these were only $1.19. And there were a dollar off coupons sitting right there by the bag salad. So we got two of those. So for $0.40, cents, we got two bags of salad. We did buy some fruit, some grapes down in there. Um, we did get our taco shells here for, um, these were on sale for a dollar and we had a 75 cent off two. So we got one taco shell and three of the taco seasonings that were um, 50 cents each. So we ended up paying about a um, dollar for three taco seasonings and a box of taco shells. We, another great find while we were in there was the um, barbecue sauce had a peely on it for 25 cents off and it was marked down to a dollar so that was after doubles that ends up being about 50 cents and let's see what else did we have we had some juice that we had some coupons for we paid 68 cents for a bottle of juice this was a dollar 68 and we had 50 cent coupons and that doubled so we ended up paying 68 cents and then we bought our meat is in here too let me see if you can see that down in there. We got some meat and it had, it was marked down. So we ended up getting ground hamburger meat and I'm kind of picky about meat so I'm willing to pay a little bit more but I love to buy, find it when it's marked down and we can go ahead and cook that up and freeze it. And it'll be ready to use in our tacos, in our chili, um, and for hamburgers. So that's kind of what we bought at the first store and we are gonna head to all these now and see if we can get some fresh fruits and veggies. Okay, so here's Danielle, and we've just been shopping in Harps, and I kind of showed you what we got, but I just wanted her to kind of give you her point of view after going on, going shopping. Okay, um, for one thing, I definitely had to develop an eye for coupons that were on the items or next to the items. That's something that I was blown away of a dollar here and a dollar there. That's something that we didn't have a coupon for when we went in there, but was on our list to get. Um, also, I, the, whenever th something's on sale and using a coupon on that really took, it really saved us a lot of money. So those are the two, the two biggest. Oh, and the meat, um, getting marked down meat, that was, that was something that's a good quality at this store. So those are the three things that, that were eye for me. Okay, we are going to hit all these for a few things. We are mainly after canned vegetables, some milk and a little bit of produce. So we are just grabbing a few things at each place and that's gonna help us get the lowest price on all the items that we need to get. Okay, so we got we went ahead and got the chips. Um, the chips were 99 cents. The pasta for my spaghetti was 79. I got green beans at 49 cents a can. I got four 
are those are separate different meals. Um, the milk was um, I think it's about two fifty. Vanilla wafers I got those for a dollar twenty nine. Um, we went ahead and just got some carrots for my husband for a snack, and those were ninety nine cents. Um, diced tomatoes forty nine cents I believe, and then chili beans. Um, we got two cans of chili beans at forty nine cents. So um, I spent a total after tax of $10.74 before tax was $10.20. Okay, now we are at Walmart and we're going in to get five things. Sliced cheese, Jiffy cornbread mix, Jiffy pizza mix, rolls, um, and and Chex bars because they are on sale here. So that's all. Good ass trip. Okay, so here we are at Target. And we are going to run in and get a few things. Here we are just combining our Target coupons with our manufacturer's coupons so that we can um, get a better deal. We've got some things like Juicy Juice that are going to end up being 50 cents for an 8-pack. Or we've got free Chef Boyardee, free Campbell's Soup, um, 50 cents off bread, things like that um, that we're going to be buying. So we're just going to wrap up our list with a few things that are left. And we'll let you know how we did. Okay, we were just checking over the receipt because we just left Target and I bought some popcorn and gave a coupon for quite a bit off that would leave me paying about 50 cents, I believe, and they it didn't do right, so I think that we're going back in <laughs> to, get, to get a better deal. Um, but I got a lot of free stuff, Chef Boyardee, three cans, paid 49 cents for bread, um, paid paid a dollar for a bag of Chex Mix, pretty good. I don't, I, and then I've got some chicken, which was my most expensive thing, um, that had got a free vegetable with that. The only thing I paid, I paid full price for was on clearance in the store, and it was a 99 cent bag of frozen corn. So after everything, I paid I paid before tax was $13.97. And we're good. still going to get a little bit money back? We are. We are going to go get some more money back for the popcorn. Awesome. So overall, what have you learned today? Oh, <laughs> to um, to set time out to go shopping. I think I do better if I do it all at one time. Um, also, one of the main thing was was to look for um, look for stacking coupons like at Target, and then not to use coupons at Target that I could double at another grocery store. Um, that was a big distinction for me, um, and to only to buy the things that were already on sale with a coupon. That was a big, big deal. Um, awesome. So we'll just continue this next time.